Isaiah Williams in Arizona. We'll get with you and see if you want to come out. Okay, folks, after much ado, we finally have our beginner bike giveaway winner here in the shop. This is our Royal Enfield that we did a couple of months ago. It took a little bit of a delay because of vacations and timing with work and all sorts of stuff, but we finally have him here in person. Isaiah, please come onto the stage. How are Hi. you doing, my friend? It's great. I love being here. It's a beautiful <laughs> bike. Yes, yes it is. So you have been selected as the winner of our Royal Enfield giveaway. How are you feeling? Great. Straight up just, <laughs> um, I could not contain my assignment at work. Everyone was like, what are you so happy about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I got the email while I was at work and then I checked the live stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, we announced you on live stream, then you got the email. Isaiah Williams in Arizona. Congrats on the Royal Enfield, my man. And you're an active Discord member, which is cool too. I think we always love yes. to see active Discord members winning these bikes. Um, but unlike Aldo, this is not your first motorcycle. You have some experience. So tell the folks right. about the, uh, the bikes you own. Yeah, so I currently own a Suzuki V-Strom 650 and a 2004 Harley Softail. <laughs> nice, nice. So you do some like kind of adventure touring stuff with the V-Strom or what? Yeah. Nice. I've taken it off-road quite a few times. There's a lot of trails around Flagstaff. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you live in Flagstaff, Arizona, yeah. right? Nice. Yeah. There's and a... um, you were telling me that you want to take this bike and kind of turn it into a bit of a scrambler, right? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I love that idea. So Isaiah's yeah. probably going to slap on some knobby tires on this thing and go send it off-road. As we were talking about in the truck on the way here, you might need some suspension to make oh, yeah. this thing, you know, kind of work a little bit better. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely have to beef up the suspension a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. So the mods we did on this, we got the new master cylinder for you, the exhaust, and that's kind of it. I also, as you probably saw in that video, I, I bet in the tires pretty good at the track. So oh, yeah. Come on! Oh. <laughs> the tires are nice and worn in. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this bike's a ton of fun. It's been so nice to own it, and it's always nice to kind of transition it off to the new owner. But today we're doing something a little bit different. We're actually gonna go on a nice ride. So we're gonna get you GoPro'd up with a microphone, and you're gonna give us your first impressions on this here uh, Royal Enfield 650. What do you think? I look forward to it. Yeah, let's do it, man. All right, seating position, I do actually really like. It's nice, it feels good, it's comfortable. Oh, I forgot to adjust the mirror. There we go. I only had one job, but just one mirror. And I just could not remember to adjust the one mirror. I love it though. It looks so classic. It's beautiful. All right, brakes. The upgraded master cylinder feels pretty good. I love having the dual analog tachometer and speedometer. Such a nice touch. I really love the way this thing sounds. <laughs> Those little Vinci pipes are awesome. A little crackling and popping while I get off the throttle. Feels good around 70. No extra vibrations. Nothing noticed anyway. I like this thing, it's zippy. Feels good. The transmission's way smoother than the Harley too. I'll keep making comparisons to my old L4 Deuce because um, they're both air-cooled, they're both twins, even though that's a V-twin, this is a parallel. They both have a kind of old-school charming character about them. I can 100% see myself commuting on this like all day. The seat is very comfortable. And hell, as soon as we get this thing home, I'm going to take it on a road trip. Sometimes it's hard to tell how much is my visor trying to fog up, how much is just my visor being wet, and how much is just the natural fog around me. This engine does not evoke squid energy. It evokes chill, good time. I like it. I love it. It's kind of wet conditions. I'm actually, I've gotten really used to lately. During monsoon season, every time I took my bike out, it got rained on. And this is actually really nice compared to that. It's not torrential. 
giving it a really nice feel for the bike. I love this ride. Such a pretty spot. Reminds me a bit of a switchback back at home, but not quite as turny. It's a wonderful twisted road. I love it. On the price side, though, I like the switchbacks. None of the curves are going off the cliff. So I'm actually a lot more comfortable riding on this. <laughs> Nothing feels super broken. Huh. Okay. Knees feel a little banged up. Not bad. What happened? I don't know, it just slid. Damn, you alright? Oh yeah. That's a first. <laughs> it was a weird sensation. <laughs> um, okay, Isaiah, so we attempted to go on a little bit of a ride but uh, we had something happen. Um, tell me in your words, what happened? I did not get off the throttle and I tried to lean into corner walls wet. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a first guys. We've had people crash our giveaway bikes before. It's happened, it's okay, you know, but for Isaiah to come through and to crash it on the first ride that you had with it yeah. is a record breaker for sure. We need to put a plaque for you somewhere here in the shop to be like, <laughs> showed up, immediately crashes giveaway bike. What a squid, <laughs> I love it. Um, but you said you wanted to make this thing into a bit of a scrambler, right? Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> It's already been scrambled. <laughs> uh, we got back here in the shop and I told Isaiah, I was like, well, if it was ever any doubt, that is 100% your motorcycle now. <laughs> um, <laughs> this poor Royal Enfield. Uh, I think it would have imagined itself doing this at the track whenever I was pushing it at its limit, not at a little low speed, yeah. uh, you know, a uh, little back road tip over. Um, but it seems to be in good shape, right? Like you bent this lever over here, nothing's leaking out of the engine, which is great. Yeah. This air-cooled motor. Slightly, but. Yeah, the, <laughs> the brake lever is a little tweaked, but honestly, all things considered, this is pretty good as far as crashes go. Yeah, I mean. You're not injured either, back. which is great. You're, yeah. You know, you said your wrist hurts a little bit, but yeah. other, otherwise you're, you're walking and talking. You're all good, which oh, is yeah. great. Um, and that was the first thing I checked whenever I came up on Isaiah. Damn, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was not. You're, right. You're not injured. Oh yeah. You are a, injured. No, a little banged up. But I think I'm fine. You can move everything okay. I'm yeah. Standing and talking, so. Yeah. That's good. Okay. I wanted to make sure he was walking and talking, and he was. So I was like, okay, he's got to be at least somewhat good. He's not on the ground. Um, that would have been a, <laughs> a disaster if you had like snapped your leg or something. Um, <laughs> any other thoughts about the Royal Enfield? Well, I loved it. <laughs> I so love it. <laughs> Um, you know, while you were riding it, what did you, what did you make of it? Did you like it? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a fun little bike, right? It's kind of it like is. this kind of classic peppy little thing. It's oh, cool. Yeah. And yeah. it revs higher than Harley. <laughs> revs higher than Harley. And we have seen that Royal Enfield, they are indeed built like a gun, guys. This oh, yeah. thing is battle proven now. <laughs> um, again, because there's no radiator on this bad boy, there's not really much fluids to really leak out. This seems pretty sturdy. I mean, I'm I'm actually really surprised at how it did in this crash. Um, the bummer got crashed, but it, you know, I think a lot of it'll buff out, honestly. Probably. Yeah, I think a new, new lever here, new brake lever, or just bend that lever back and you'll be in good shape. Oh yeah. Yeah. It'll Besides, be... you wanna you wanna modify this thing anyways. You wanna put the big bore kit and the tires, oh, yeah. right? So. Some spin chin knobby tires, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So guys, let me know what you think about Isaiah and the Royal Enfield. We're so happy that he was able to come out here to Austin. Uh, thanks again for coming out, man. I appreciate it. I'm sorry I the ride was it. cut short. <laughs> it's all um, right. I wanted to, I just, I wanted to be super careful because it was wet and foggy outside and these things do happen, you know? It's, it's, it's a bummer that, you know, these things happen, but hey, bike's tough, you're still good. And yeah. so, you know, it's, uh, it's a good situation all around. Uh, so we're gonna be shipping this bike back to you whenever you get back to Flagstaff, and you can then go and send it on some trails out there. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Love the energy. All right, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Well, look at you. You've made it to the end of another Yammy Noob video. You should consider yourself pretty lucky because I have curated this one right over here for you to continue watching. It's probably just as good as the one you just saw. Unless you hated the one you just saw. I don't know, maybe leave me a comment down below about how you much you hated it as well too. Or just keep watching this one. Make sure you keep watching Yammy Noob. Don't forget to keep watching Yammy Noob. That's the most important thing. Keep watching Yammy Noob.